Bill and Susie, okay? Bill and Susie's marriage is falling apart. You've got to go help them. Send somebody to talk to them. They won't talk to you, but they'll send somebody to talk to them. And I said, no problem, I'll send John. John was a radical Christian in our church. Radical. I said, I'll send John. She said, don't send John. <laughs> said, he's too radical. Don't send John. And I looked at her and I said, just how fixed do you want them to be? <laughs> and we look at our own lives and we ask that question to ourselves. Just how fixed do we want Jesus to do in and through our lives? How radical are we? One of my favorite stories, and I tell this, I risk this. I may have shared this with you years ago. It's one of my favorite stories. It's about a football player from Alabama. I risk it because Auburn is sitting right there. <laughs> ah, gonna, here we go. Years ago, Sports Illustrated, they were talking about the simplicity of sports talk and, and how how when you read like Sports Illustrated in these magazines, there's a simplicity of language that they use. And they were trying to illustrate that. So they decided to find a football player and take him to the gravesite of Jack London, the great writer, and, and read one of his great quotes and ask the football player what it means to him. Who would they get? There was a player at that time for the Oakland Raiders by the name of Kenny Snake Stabler. You may have heard of him other than Tom. Yeah, okay. He was playing, he was playing for uh, the Raiders. And man, this guy, you know, he was good at it. They won in the weirdest fashion. And, uh, but he was a snake. So he agreed to go to the gravesite of Jack London and, and, and they're gonna read this quote to him and ask him to translate it in sports language. Listen to this quote. Jack London said, I'd rather be ashes than dust. Now think of yourself as I read this. He said, I'd rather be ashes than dust. I'd rather my flame go out in a burning spark than that it be stifled with dry rot. I'd rather be a splendid meteor blazing across the sky, every atom in me in magnificent glow, than to be a sleepy and permanent planet. Life is to be lived, not to exist, I shall not waste my days trying to prolong them. I will use my time. They read those words and looked at that old quarterback. He pulled on his beard. And they said, Kenny, what does that mean to you? Pulled on his beard and he said, throw deep. That's my word to you tonight. Throw deep. Don't get to the pearly gates someday having left something behind or someone behind. Realize how important you are in this whole game. You're a key player in somebody's life, in some situation. You're a key player that there's a reason you're here. There's a reason you're here tonight. You're a key player in this game and there's much to be done there's much to be done before our departure. Life, life is important. Our brother shared tonight a testimony that has gripped my heart. And it shows us that life is finite. And there'll be, there'll be many of us who, who leave this life before you do, brother. But there's things to be done. There are things to be done. There's lives to be touched. There's people in this valley here that don't know him. And like, like Reggie's little four-year-old girl, they're important to our Lord. A hundred sheep and one is gone. What does he do? He goes and he looks until he finds. They're out there. Sherry is out there. She needs a song and a hug. She needs to feel the very grip of Jesus around her life. And that's going to come from you and me. Who else is going to do it? Well, surely so-and-so can do it. There's a reason you're here. There's a reason you're here. You're important in God's place. You with me? Amen. Throw deep. 
throw deep. Squeeze the juice out of every, every moment God has given you. There's people out there that need to hear from you and me. We need to live lives that are contagious, filled with his spirit. Remember what I said this morning? Free refills. Drink and drink and drink. Let's pray together. Father, we've shared your word, Lord. And I thank you for these people that are here tonight. I thank you for the truth of your gospel, for the privilege, Lord, that you've included us in what you're doing in this old world. That scares us a little bit because all we can see is us. All we can think about is our inadequacies, our lack of. But Father, that has never stopped you. That we look through the history of some of the great saints of the word. We read about Moses and we read about Abraham. We read about these guys that had doubts and fears and all of that, and yet you raise them up because the hardest thing to do, it seems, is show up. The hardest thing to do in battle, the hardest thing to do in witness, the hardest thing to do in life is to show up. To show up and report and say, here I am, Lord. Use me. Take me to those places and give me the words to say. Give me the courage to be your person in any and every situation. Lord, help me to realize that there are little four-year-olds out there that are lost, and they need to hear from me. They need to see your presence in my life and hear your name called and flowing out of my lips, Father. And Lord, I pray tonight that if there's anybody here that just hasn't really committed their lives totally to you, that they're hanging on to those little idols of life that, that keep bringing them back, as I, as I said this morning, the problems that, that keep showing up and showing up and showing up. It's usually the same thing, the same kind of things. And Father, I pray tonight we can let go of that stuff and be your people. Set our hearts aflame with your gospel, Lord. Set our hearts aflame with your presence. Empower us to be your men and women wherever we are. Here we are, Lord, before you. Touch us tonight. As we commit ourselves afresh to you in Jesus, in Jesus' name, give us the courage to throw deep, to squeeze the juice out of every, every moment you've given us. In the name that's above every name, King of kings and Lord of lords, the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 If you knew